If not, if you're ready, we can go ahead and get started. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce the first speaker of this session, Ignat Soroka, talking about commensurability of spherical arcing groups. Thank you, uh, Rachel and organizers for uh, letting me speak and I will talk about commensurability of spherical artin groups. And uh, my uh, first uh, block is about what is artin groups. Artin groups are given by uh, a finite set of generators and uh, a symmetric matrix uh, of integers, of non-negative integers or uh, infinity uh, character. So, Artin group corresponding to this data is given by uh, the uh, following presentation. It has a set of generators uh, S and for each pair of generators, there is a Artin relator of this form. So we have ST, ST, ST that many times, which is the number in the matrix. So if M ST is two, that's just the usual commutativity relation. If uh, M ST is three, we have a classical braid relation. But for bigger ST, we have something longer, and these are relations of artin groups. If S and T are, if MST is uh, infinite, we don't consider uh, we don't consider any relation between this. Uh, elements. So this sort of information is very easily, uh, very conveniently encoded by a Coxter graph with, that's a graph whose vertices are in correspondence with S and edges labeled by this MST numbers with the convention that if uh, MST is two, we don't have any edge. And if MST is three, we omit label. For example, this specific thing is just our uh, usual braid group. The neighboring generators are uh, braided in the sense that uh, ABA equals BAB. And if they are not neighboring, they commute. So there is no edge between them. And triangle with infinite labels encodes the free group of rank three. So that's the definition of artin groups. I'm sure many people saw them before. Now we can ask some natural questions about uh, this uh, artin groups. For example, if word problem solvable, is conjugacy problem solvable? Uh, are they torsion free? Uh, is center trivial or cyclic? Uh, is uh, the group bi-automatic. And for many, uh, for some classes of artin groups, we know answers to these questions. For example, for spherical uh, groups, these are exactly the groups such that the corresponding Coxter group is finite. We uh, add squares of all generators and that's the Coxter group corresponding to the given artin groups. So we know answers to all these questions and they are all affirmative, positive. The same happens if we look at right angle tartan groups. Uh, these are the groups where all uh, numbers MST are either two or infinity. There are other classes, for example, extra large artin groups. Uh, they are the ones for which 
the labels are bigger than four. Uh, affine or Euclidean artin groups, they are given by extended Dinkin diagrams. And recently, a lot of interest uh, attracted the artin groups of FC type. Uh, but as we see these classes, we can say much fewer about them and we don't know, for example, uh, con conjugacy problem, how to solve con conjugacy problem for affine artin groups. And moreover, if we take an arbitrary artin group, just uh, as easy as that, all edge labels are three, we don't know how to solve word problem. We don't uh, want know how to even tell if one artin group is, is isomorphic to another. So a lot of not known. However, these two classes, spherical and right angled artin groups are the nicest in the sense that uh, they have rich structure and we can say a lot about them. Remarkably, they belong to sort of different worlds. Right angle artin groups act on cut zero cubical complexes and spherical artin groups are definitely not cubical for bigger ranks. And we will look at spherical artin groups and uh, ask specific questions about them like follows. First of all, what are they up to isomorphism? Coxter back in 1935 classified them, uh, classified uh, finite groups generated by reflections in Rn. And his list is encoded by the set of graphs that we uh, all know. Uh, there are three infinite series. A, B, and D, and several uh, sporadic groups or exceptional. And there is a, another series in rank two, I to N. This is slightly reminiscent to the classification of, semi -sim of simply algebras. However, we see some differences. There is uh, no uh, series corresponding to uh, CN because both BN and CN root systems have the same wild group. So these basically are wild groups plus some additional uh, finite groups which are not crystallographic. So that's how Coxter groups uh, look like finite and spherical artin groups also are given by this data. Louis Perez proved that uh, these are this is the list up to in the com direct in the in directly in the composable list. So neither of them uh, decomposes into smaller uh, groups as direct product, which is not true for Coxter groups, but for Artin groups, it is like that. So this is a classification up to isomorphism. We can ask uh, questions: What are their classification up to quasi isometry? That's a, a very popular equivalence relation which geometric group theorists care about. And this is mostly an open question. Somewhere in between isomorphism and quasi-isometry lies commensurability. And uh, partial results were uh, obtained in this direction, which spherical artin groups are commensurable to each other. Maria Cumplido and Louis Perez started this uh, question and I also contributed to this topic. So recall that two groups are commensurable if they have subgroups of finite index which are abstractly isomorphic. Uh, they not necessarily the same index, can be index M, index N, in another group, but they are isomorphic taken separately. Obviously, if groups are commensurable, then they are quasi-isometric. But uh, there are examples of quasi-isometric groups uh, which are not commensurable. Uh, 
So, the result of Complidoin Paris consists of two parts. First, they are reducing it to irreducible uh, case of connected Coxter diagram. So if two spherical artin groups are commensurable, then their ranks are equal. That is number of vertices, standard generators, and corresponding components are commensurable with each other. And then they describe uh, all the, the commensurability class of groups of type AN. And it turns out that it is only BN and I2. Uh, BN and I2. And that's all that, that is there for commensurability class uh, with break groups. So if we look at this picture, we can form it like that. So AN and BN are in one class. And then if I draw A2 here, a2 and I2 are in one class. That is their result. What does it mean? In particular, it tells us that uh, Dn is not commensurable with neither Ion or Bn. And it is therefore their classification, their uh, answer, their result takes care of infinite families. But we have several uh, ex ex exceptional groups which we don't know uh, the answer about. For example, uh, are this Dn and E6, D6 and E6, D6 and E7, sorry, D7 and E7, D8 and E8 commensurable, or D4 and F4, uh, D4 and H4, or F4 and H4. So these are the cases which are left unresolved by their result. H3 is its own commensurability class because it cannot be uh, compared with anything else except AN and BN, and they are not. So six cases remain unresolved in order to obtain full picture, full answer to the question which spherical arts and groups are commensurable. So we need to determine for these pairs, F44, H44, etc., if they are commensurable or not. So my contribution is resolving the first two cases. F4 and D4 are not commensurable and H4 and D4 are not commensurable. So methods with which they did that. In positive direction, it's very easy because it turns out that artin group of type Bn sits as a subgroup of finite index in the artin group of type An. So they are commensurable uh, for a very easy uh, reason. And very similarly in I2, there is free group of rank two as a subgroup of finite index, no matter what M is. Therefore, they all commensurable with F2. The difficult part is to prove non-commensurability. So they develop uh, some results which reduce the problem to show that there is no embedding of uh, Artin group modular center into abstract commensurator. The abstract commensurator is a canonical, uh, of canonical group like automorphism group, but it is defined a little bit uh, less intuitively, but the definition is uh, 
is there maybe i'll tell you later but enough to say that this is a canonical object uh, associated with the acting group or with any group for that reason so there is a fact actually uh, follows from theorem of ivanov that commence the rate abstract commensurator of uh, this arting group of type a and modular center is isomorphic to the extended mapping class group of sphere with n plus two punctures and as such is isomorphic to the group itself semi-direct product with z2 so what maria Combrido and louis paris do they classify all homomorphisms onto some quotient by pure braids. This is a finite uh, group. So they use computer algebra system gap to do that. And they're able to produce generalized torsion in the uh, pure braid group, which is which leads to a contradiction. So essentially, this is how they show that groups are not commensurable with AN. Now, what is my approach? I follow the uh, uh, scheme more or less, but uh, the key ingredient is to show that for arting group of type D4, its abstract commensurator is isomorphic to the extended mapping class group of torus with three, three punctures which I depicted here, and in itself, it's isomorphic to uh, arting group modular center, semi-direct the symmetries, symmetries of graph and orientation reserving, uh, re reversing reflection. So these are the generators corresponding to dent twists around this circle, and these are the punctures. So I claim that mapping class group extended mapping class group is uh, isomorphic to that uh, group on the right. So it's basically almost the arting group itself. This result implicitly is implicitly present in the uh, earlier works, but it was overlooked for a long time. And for example, John Bierman, in her uh, 2006 survey of problems about mapping class groups, does not mention uh, the mapping class group of torus with three punctures as a linear group, whereas it is a, obviously a, a linear group because uh, it is arting group of spherical type modular center. These are all linear groups. So I was uh, surprised that this is not very well known fact. So I uh, published it in a, one article so that it's more uh, available to mathematical community. So then there are a few more ingredients. Uh, in order to show non existence of this embedding, I had to classify all torsion elements in all uh, groups of spherical type modular center. It turns out that here there is element of order 15, but here there is no such element. So such embedding cannot exist. So the non-existence of this embedding, I also had to uh, classify, describe all homomorphisms to finite group of big order, 1156. So I used computer algebra system magma. Gap was not enough. Gap doesn't have such opportunity to uh, classify all homomorphism, including non-surjective ones, but magma has it. So as a result, that's the two cases which are now resolved. Well, there are uh, three more cases remaining. 
D6, D7, D8. I have few ideas how to do them. That's my work in, pro in progress. They also, the approach utilizes mapping class groups, in particular Peron Vanier embedding of uh, acting groups of type Dn into mapping class groups. But I don't know at all what to do with uh, what to do with the case of F4 and H4. No idea. And the problem of quasi-isometric classification of spherical but in groups is completely open. Modulo those few cases when we establish commensurability, then it applies quasi-isometric equivalence, but not the other way around. And quite recently, this article of mine was published just last month, and that's the article, the journal, Topology and Applications. And I think I stop here. Thank you. Thanks, Ignat. Are there questions to the speaker? Um, I have a question. Do you have conjectures about the remaining cases? Do you think they should be commensurable or not? Can you repeat it? Yeah, do you have a do you have a conjecture about the remaining cases? Do you think they should yes, be commensurable? Yes, I, I believe they are not uh, not nothing of them are commensura, uh, commensurable because yeah. otherwise we would have already a good candidate how they mm -hmm. in each other. Mm -hmm. Do you expect um, for these like for for F4 and H4, do you expect their them to be like, or, or their, you know, modulo of their center to be finite index in their abstract commensurator? Or is that known? Let me think. Uh, we know that only for groups related to mapping class groups, because right. basically of this theorem of Yuanu. And I don't have any idea what's going on with these two groups because there is no connection with mapping class groups, which is obvious. Uh, so I don't know, it may be. For example, if we don't look at groups modular center, but take Artin groups themselves, the commensurator is infinitely generated sometimes it's, it's wild it contains q to the power infinity such subgroups it's very wild wow. yeah, but but if we take modulo out the center it becomes more feasible but i don't know how it will look or how we can construct commensurator that's a difficult case Any other questions? All right, let's thank Ignat again. Thank you.